I'm literally exhausted. Is it giving professional degree? That felt so good. Hello friends. Hi, hello. What's poppin'? I am going to take you a few days in the life of a med student in New York City. I'm starting this vlog midweek because the beginning of the week was just a little bit crazy. Just a little bit crazy. It's about 7.49 in the morning, which means we need to get going. We need to get things going. I'm drinking my coffee. I've been trying to do this whole fiscally responsible thing and drink coffee at home, not buy coffee out because I've just been ODing, doing the most. So that's what I'm trying not to do. One of my friends who I'm on Pete's Neuro with just texted me and we're just trying to coordinate like whether we're gonna go into pre-round on our patients or not. Usually when you're on an inpatient service of any kind, you're expected to go into the hospital beforehand, pre-round on your patients, which means just go see them in the morning, see how everything was overnight, do a physical exam on them, and then make sure you do some chart scrolling to look at any pertinent lab values, uh, their vitals overnight, making sure everything was all good. And this whole process is supposed to happen before you round as a team, which is when you go around to every single patient and see them at bedside with the attendant in the residence and the reason for that is because you usually want to do a presentation on your patients and most of the time when you start on a new service they'll have you carry one patient but if you're comfortable you can carry two or three or four you can carry as many patients as you want as long as you're able to carry them well and present them well because it's more about the quality of the presentations the exams than the quantity of course though you definitely want to be pushing yourself because when you're a med student you're only really responsible for like one to two patients yada 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 but when you're a resident you're responsible for like ten patients Patients. And so it is really good practice to get in the habit of carrying more patients, I guess. And then let me hit you with the rest of the plan for the rest of the day. After I go into the hospital, we'll probably round all day, to be honest, because that was my experience last time on Pete's Neuro, where we start rounding usually around 9 a.m. And it feels like we just never stop rounding. We round all day into the afternoon. We take a short break for lunch in the afternoon around 12. And hopefully I get home at a decent hour so I can keep working on this write-up. I'm doing a write-up on a multiple sclerosis patient that I picked up my very first day on the service. For our write-ups, we basically document a full history of their current presentation, why they came to the hospital, etc., etc. And then we also go through past medical history, past surgical history, family history, allergies and medications. We do a review of systems on the patient. We take a social history as well. Because this patient was on the younger side, I did a pretty detailed uh, social history. And then as medical students, we're expected to form our own assessments. So we take all of that together and we try to synthesize what we think is going on. What makes it a write-up in our case is that we have to go and pull information from the literature to answer some sort of focus question. Hope that didn't bore you to death, but that's the reality of going to med school if you're interested in, in becoming a doctor. And I think something that's really important to us here at Columbia is that we practice evidence-based medicine. And so the doctors here really encourage us as medical students to get in the habit of referring to the literature. I'm done right Gambling. Talk to you guys later. Oh my god, I need to go. Chief of service time. Bye guys. I'm literally exhausted. It's almost five o'clock. I still have to finish my write-up and submit it before midnight tonight. I have some popcorn here because I'm absolutely starving. I don't know what's going on with my appetite. And even though I don't really want to have any caffeine, I'm gonna have this matcha green tea oat milk latte. I've been really loving this brand, but I can't tell if I'm just a sucker for nice marketing and nice packaging and all of those things. I'm gonna have some caffeine because I'm exhausted. And because I'm exhausted, I'm worried that I'm gonna be able to focus on this write-up and get it done in a decent amount of time. I don't want to be working on it past 10 p.m., which gives me about five hours. And a resident also asked me to present on the McDonald's criteria, which is a criteria used to guide the clinical diagnosis of MS, so I have a lot to do, and I don't want to be all up all night doing it. So, in my mouth is a desert, running dry on the tip of my tongue. I can taste your lies, how to measure the love you throw around. I could never. Good morning! My shelf exam is in less than a week, so I need to use this week to weekend to really study. But the problem is, I also have other things I want to do this weekend, so it's time to get up. I have my Columbia gear on because I'm actually going to go to the Harvard-Columbia football game. I went back and forth on what gear to wear because 
Harvard's my undergrad, Columbia's my med school, and I really wanted to wear Harvard gear, but then I realized because I'm getting student tickets, I'm gonna be in the Columbia section, and I just don't wanna deal with a hater, you know? I just don't wanna deal with it. I'm thinking oatmeal because it's been a while since I had some oatmeal. I think I'm gonna make it on the stove. We're doing all kinds of crazy things today. Hans has decided she's gonna come have some oatmeal with me. You know something I've been kind of sort of thinking about? I remember last year when the upperclassmen would be like, yeah, man, I'm so exhausted. And I was just like, how are you that exhausted? Like, it's not that deep, you know? Like, it's just made for clinical year. What's the big deal? Apparently, there it, it is a big deal because I now understand and I'm equally exhausted. Is it giving professional degree? Is it giving? It's definitely not giving college. I think it's giving just a little more than college. This lighting is kind of terrible. I swear, there's like really no convenient place to film in my house. I have all these like supplies and things that I need to put away. You know what I did yesterday? I finally hung up my artwork in the living room. So now I have a little gallery wall. I'll show you guys in a second. I don't know what it, where's a convenient spot to pull all this. Before I work out, I wanted to make some coffee, but then I saw all this stuff here. I feel like I should get rid of this stuff first. That looks so good. What you doing? Yesterday I did some journaling. It was really just like some affirmations or something. I don't even know if they're affirmations, but I'm trying to do a little bit of it every morning. Just a little bit of grounding. I don't know. Time to work out. I got all kinds of stuff here that I don't need here. This is basically how I set it up. I have this little tripod thing and I have the Peloton app that I pay for every month, but no Peloton bike. If somebody wants to give me a Peloton bike though, I would take it because they're so nice. I like the Peloton app. It's way cheaper to just buy a cheaper bike. I think I got this one for like $200, $300, whereas like the Peloton bikes are way more expensive. They do have that thing where you can pay for it every month. I just haven't pulled the trigger on that yet. I'm gonna do Alex Toussaint's 45 minute club banger. Z club bangers. Class. We're charged up. I need to get this workout on. It's already 10 o'clock now. Jesus. Once I'm done working out, I can get to studying. I have a lot of crap to study. I don't really feel like it, you know? Ugh. Yeah, yeah, I just gotta yeah, yeah. do it. I'll feel so good once I get it done. I just gotta yeah, yeah, yeah. get on the bike and go. Those. Okay, here we go. Oh, you be killing that. You be killing that. Started from the mud, now you see us going up. Numbers never lie, now you see us blowing up. People. I never want to, but then I do, and I feel so good. That feels so good. I can't believe it. You see how sweaty I am? I don't know how people, there's like definitely people on YouTube, I don't know how they do it, where after a workout they still look flawless. This is me after a workout. Like. Is no one else's face turn this red? I swear, like, I just go straight tomato face. That's what I needed. It was like, don't rush. Ay, ay. I don't want to study, but I have to. I feel like my face is peeling apart. <clears throat> it is almost time for me to sit down and study. I like to light a little candle while I study. I don't know why. I'm putting my phone in my room. Let me tell you something. On my practice questions, I've been getting like 33% right, which is absolutely terrible. Yeah, I don't remember a lot of neuro. I'm hoping that it'll come back to me, but like even this last one, there's nothing worse than choosing the thing though that 1% of people chose. Like, damn, why'd you gotta do me like that, you world? You really played me. I've been down and now below. Keep it a buck, I don't. Always been one up on all of these. Always been they be trying to front for all of these. I ain't got time because they all in their feelings. I said again, and we making a killing. It's 2020. And it it's 7:49 now. I got through a set of 40 questions. I scored below average on them. It was really sad, to be honest. I really didn't see it coming. When I have my hair like this. I think I look like um, Professor Snape. Do you guys see it? We getting money. Yeah, they think that we dealing. They talking hot. Yeah, they a and we want.
will stop till we all touch a million. Don't ever forget, but we probably forgive him. I'm living, taking the cards that was given. My blessings is already written. Rap little ribbon, putting ourselves in positions to making some major decisions. I Started from the mud, now you see us going up.